AECT standard for Professional Skills and Knowledge. This standard pertains to designing, implement, and evaluating technology-rich learning environments. Indicator 4.1, Collaborative Practice. This indicator involves working with others to create instructional material. For one of my 503 projects, I created an instructional design manual on how to create a digital portfolio. In order to do this, I had to interview individuals who had already created portfolios as well as assess the need for digital portfolios. Indicator 4.2, Leadership. Leads peers in designing and implementing technology learning. Another crucial piece of the grant writing project in 551 is to set objectives of what you want to accomplish with the grant. Without an objective, these, those involved will wander blindly and have no idea when they have accomplished their goal. Indicator 4.3, Reflection, Analyzing and Interpreting Data and Artifacts for Effectiveness. In my reflective paper for 504, I researched the theories of education. There are many theories, and while each theory has valid points, they tend to be very subjective. Indicator 4.4, Assessing and Evaluating, Design and Implement Methods to Assess that the Plan is Aligned with the Goals Required. With the internet being a necessary part of one's life, there needs to be a way to accommodate, accommodate those who need help with web accessibility. In my 502 class, I designed a page that lists several sites that users could go to for help for web accessibility. Indicator 4.5, Ethics, demonstrates ethical behavior with respect to the diversity of learners. Another piece of the grant proposal for 551 was to write an inquiry letter to generate interest in the organization that you are seeking a grant for. It provided an opportunity to sell the organization and the good it does for the community.